watching Q&A with Mickey and Shay. And we are with Gabrielle Stone and Alexandra Altman. Correct. Hi, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Nice seeing you again. <laughs> uh, so what is um, Snow Moon about? Snow Moon is a series. A lot of people like to compare it to Twilight. Uh, I think the Beverly Hills Canyon News and the CA, CSA costume director here uh, quoted Cinderella meets Twilight. So, and it's also been compared to the recent movie Frozen and Tangled. So it's a fairy tale of fairies and it's got a giant. It's got a little bit of everything in it. And it's from ages from nine to a hundred. And it's about a little girl that got lost and a giant that's lost and we have fairies and we get the giant home. And Nina, Gabrielle is our, I, uh, Nina. She is the main fairy who's the uh, exact opposite of what I am. She's my double, in other words, only I'm a little human girl and I'll play Cinderella and she's the fairy. So she's the main one and we go on a major adventure uh, for about four or five movies. Cool. <laughs> We're very excited, but we go through, like, uh, it's an action, young adult action adventure film, and we're just so excited because we have so many wonderful characters uh, that's something for everybody. And this is a movie or a book? Because I noticed that she has a book in her hand. It's the first book in a saga, which is Snow Moon's the first one. And we have, of uh, course, a whole series, which will be five books and movies. Congratulations on your success. Yes, congratulations. Yeah. What gave you the inspiration to come up with this? Oh, gosh. Who gave me the inspiration? I grew up with this, so I had to make it a fairy tale because no one would believe what's in this book. It's a true life fairy tale of things that actually happen in my life and many people around me. So sometimes a fairy tale can come true, and it's come true for a lot of our actresses, such as Darlene Gates. Uh, she's in it as well. and. Um, her dream came true 60 years later. She's Darla, Queen of the Fairies, which we'll be teaching Nina, and who Nina is the most, the highest of the realm of the fairies. And could you tell our viewers what you've been doing lately besides this? Yes, I just finished a movie called Zombie Killers with Misha Barton and Billy Zane, so that should be coming out later this year. A little that bit different know. than fairies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. kind of switch it up a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a it was a zombie film, um, really more of a zombie drama. It's not as much about the zombies as it is about the people. But I'm excited to do Snow Moon and get to play a lighter character because so far in my career I've been doing a lot of horror and action drama stuff. So this will be fun. I've never done anything animated before so I'm excited to bring this fairy to life. Are you going to wear fancy wings and everything like that? I believe so. I believe I get even a different crazy hair color as well so Ooh, I really get to transform for it. <laughs> we are hiding her. what we're doing with her. What we're doing with Nina has never been done before ever and no one's going to expect what she's going to be wearing or exactly what all her part and action adventure part is but Nina is going to be not ever forgotten what we're doing with Nina. Or should I say Gabrielle Stone? <laughs> you two look like y'all fit in the film. <laughs> y'all look like, like part of our clan here. You guys are beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Who do you want to win an Oscar tonight? I mean, not tonight. <laughs> oh, gosh. Jared Leto. <laughs> That's my pick. It's I funny, I've got chills because she just took the words out of my <laughs> mouth. I was going to say the same thing and she said it, so absolutely. And could you tell our audience what film influenced you the most emotionally? Emotionally, oh gosh. Um, actually, spinning off the Jared Leto thing, uh, Requiem for a Dream was one of his earlier films and it was just emotionally fantastic and that's where I got a lot of inspiration of drama film from. I like serendipity for many reasons because it just it just goes to prove that you can find your true prince or true princess. There's somewhere out there and it's I love little positive things where 
The prince and prince actually gets to me and such is also enchanted. How are you guys liking the sweets today? Oh gosh, I'm the CEO of the charity Andy's Transplant, so we're here to also save lives today. And oh, transplants? Andy's Transplants organization is uh, was you, like formed. getting donors to sign? Yes, we had Dr. Darlin who's had uh, three liver transplants and we have 26 surgeons on board to actually perform the uh, transplant if it needed as an urgent, anything urgent. So the focus is Andy's transplant as the CEO of the charity and Snow Moon is the sponsor behind it uh, and we have a guest author, Nancy Oakley. And so we are just really excited to be saving lives at the same time displaying our movie here. Well, thank you, thank so, you much. so much. And because and you had such that. oh yes, good luck. And since you had such a great interview, you the guys. 3D Oscar goes to <laughs> you guys. Thank oh you. my gosh, my first Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you like to thank? Oh, well, you got your beautiful ladies. Oh, well, thank <laughs> you. Ladies, I want to hug you, you too. Is there any way Nina and I could have a picture with our other two little fairies? Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.